Welcome back to my SketchUp lessons at MrStewart'sLessons.com. If you've been following the last few, uh, the, all the lessons before, you should have made a really nice house that looks great from the outside. And what I'd like to do now, though, is I'd like to do something to it on the inside. So one of the things I, I need to do to do that is to actually be able to see inside the house. Right now, I, I can only see the outside. I can just barely see in through the windows, which doesn't help me much. If I zoom in far enough, eventually I'll get inside the house and I'll actually be able to see in there. But it's a very cramped view and it's hard to do anything that way. And I kind of go in and out. So it doesn't really work very well. So I need a different way to do this. And the best way to do it is to hide one of the walls. And I'm going to show you how to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my select tool. I'm going to select this wall, the biggest wall. I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to so I'm going to drag over these windows so the windows are selected as well. And then I'm going to click Edit, and I'm going to click Hide. So I want you to pause the video now. I want you to select the wall, the biggest wall in the windows, and click the Hide feature. Okay, so you should now be able to see well inside your house. Now, if you notice, once you see inside your house, some of the stuff that looked really good on the outside doesn't look so good on the inside. You'll notice that my trim around the bottom here, uh, which uh, um, looks good on the outside, uh, reaches out on the inside, and I don't really want that. And also notice, look at how my stairs, my stairs are kind of hollow here, which is also not what I want. That's not what I want my house to look like. And same thing with the trim along the roof. If I go up here, you'll see that... Uh, I've got this part sticking out, and I've got the whole roof. I really want a normal roof on the inside of my house, a, a normal ceiling, I should say. We have a roof. We want a ceiling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something new with the line tool and that allows me to quickly fill in large spaces. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select the line tool. I'm going to click over here, and I'm going to come all the way to the other side. And you'll notice that what happens is by drawing this component, it fills in all the blank spaces that it could around that space. So I want you to try the same thing. I want you to select the line tool and I want you to connect from here to here and watch it fill in the space. Okay, so you should have now filled in all your space along the bottom. Now I can do the same thing along the ceiling. I'm going to select my line tool. I'm going to stretch from here to here and watch my ceiling get filled in. Now it looks a lot more like the inside of a regular house. The extra parts are the things we don't need, the, um, the attic up here, and then we have a sort of a, a little basement part below. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to make some walls. And to do that, I'm going to use my guide tool. I'm going to use my guide tool in a slightly different way. So what I'm going to want to do, I'm going to select my guide tool. And I'm going to click, I'm going to start on an endpoint. When you start on an endpoint, the guide tool works a little differently. I'm going to click and I'm going to start to drag across. I'm going to make sure I'm, the, I'm on the green axis until I get to the other side here. And then I'm going to click. Now I've got a guide that goes this way. And what I, so um, notice my guideline just goes across. And that's going to help me to draw a wall. So I want you to do that. I want you to select your guide tool, start from the endpoint, and drag across to the other side. Okay, so you should have you should have a guide going across here. Now I'm gonna take a wall. I'm gonna um, start from the end point up here. I'm gonna go down to my intersection, and I'm going to have a I'm going to have a wall in here. So what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna come across and. Now, the problem is, of course, my wall is completely blocking the entrance to the house, so I'd like to be able to get in. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle tool here. I'm going to start at the midpoint, and I'll start to create a door. I'll make it 3 feet by 8 feet. Now, to open that up, all I need to do is select this here and delete it. So what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to pause it. I'd like you to create uh, this wall by dragging a rectangle down here and then 
create another rectangle opening up a door that is allow allows a, a way through. Okay, let's make one more wall here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my guide tool, do something else with the guide tool. I'm going to start, I'm going to start on this point. I'm going to click and I'm going to start to drag. Now, this go, this wall goes 14 feet across. I don't want it to go all the way because it's going to cut that window in half, which I don't want. So what I'm going to do, I want to just make it go, I'm going to make it part of, sort of divide the wall part way. So I'm going to make it nine feet. I'm going to hit enter, and then this is how far my guide's going to go. My, this is going to give me a guide point. And now I'm going to click here. I'm going to select a wall, and I'm going to uh, come down here and click to the guide point. And now I've divided off part of the house. So I want you to try the same thing. I want you to uh, choose your guide, draw to a guide point that's nine feet out, and then draw a rectangle down here and that will be some of the walls to your house. Pause it and do that now. So now you have some walls to your house, um, and if you want to go back and set things back the way they were, we can go to Edit, and we can do Unhide Last, and now our walls will be back where they were. And if some things don't appear, just click Unhide All and everything will come back. I also have some extra guides I don't need anymore so I'm going to go edit delete guides and now we're done but next time when we come back I'll show you how to come how to put some furniture into our house so I'll see you next lesson